This Christmas, I got inspired to write a new carol called Baby in an Ox's Stall, which I hope brings across the Christmas nostalgia and the warm feelings that everyone gets at Christmas time um, with a new melody and new words which choirs can enjoy at Christmas time. I decided to write new words for this new carol because I wanted them to fit the tune like a glove. I wrote the melody first and then fitted the words to the melody, so hopefully we've got a synergy and a sort of feeling of, of unity between melody and music. Baby in an Ox's Stall begins with a soprano solo sung by the wonderful Katie Hill and um, she sings the first verse which then opens up to an SATB texture where everyone sings the carol together and then it modulates a couple of times where the tension increases in the third and fourth verses and then a, a descant comes in the last verse and you get her flowering over the top of everyone else and she sort of blooms. It's very, very nice to hear her sing that. The harmony underneath the melody is quite exotic in places and it hopefully pays homage to Peter Warlock who is one of my favourite carol writers. I'm a big fan of um, harmony which does something slightly different and um, I, like many people, have a bit of an inner, inner school child in me and I hope this comes across um, that it's slightly playful within the genre. I'm a big fan of taking a, a sort of genre and slightly changing the rules and I've, I hopefully have done that with this carol which um, hopefully uh, takes people harmonically on a journey that they maybe don't expect. The EP is available on iTunes now via the link below this video which also contains a b-side of Silent Night and it's an elongated version in 5-4 times so it's not the traditional lilting 3-4 that you might expect but I hope that that is a little surprise as well. The sheet music is published by Boozy and Hawks and is also available via the link below this video as a download um, in both unison and SATV versions, which we hope makes it accessible to choirs of any sizes and any types. Overall, I hope that this new carol is a hummable melody which people can enjoy and hopefully brings choirs and audiences into the Christmas spirit at this time of year.